I'm in a Tesla Model X 100D. That is an Audi SQ7. And I want to know which gives you the best performance for your money for your seven-seater SUV. Is it electric power or is it diesel power? Now, both these cars are fairly matched in terms of their price, including options, and they have similar power outputs. So I'm going to put them through a series of performance tests. I'm going to do a rolling race. I'm going to do a brake test. I'm going to do an acceleration ferocity test. More about that later. But first, I'm going to start off with a classic standing quarter mile drag race. So let's get it on. All got away first. It's quite close though. I'm starting to pull away from it. Come on, come on, Tesla. Tesla power. That's a win. Oh, that's a win, clear win. The Tesla Model X did the quarter mile in 13.4 seconds and crossed the finish line at 102 miles an hour. The Audi took 13.5 seconds, but interestingly, was doing 106 miles an hour when it crossed the line. And now for some more geeky stats. The Tesla Model X 100D costs from just over £90,000. This one with options is actually £104,000. Now from its dual motors, it produces 416 horsepower. It has 660 newton meters of torque and Tesla says it can do 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, but can it really? Well, I've got this specialist timing gear and I'm gonna find out, so let's go. Feels pretty quick. And that's 60, got a reading. Gonna keep on going to 100 because why not? And that is 100. Okay, let's see what I did. It felt pretty bloody quick actually, so. Was Tesla right? Naught to 60, 4.9 seconds, and naught to 100, 11.6 seconds. So that's what electric power does. How about diesel power. So this Audi SQ7, it starts from £71,000. This one with options is actually around £95,000. It's got a four litre twin turbo V8 with an electric compressor. It pumps out 435 horsepower. It's got 900 newton metres of torque. And according to Audi, it'll do 0 to 60 in just 4.9 seconds. So let's find out what it really does. All I have to do is mash the throttle. Go. It's going, it's going strong doesn't feel quite as intense as the Tesla. That's my 60 miles an hour there. And now we're doing the 100. Right, let's see what we've got, let's see what we've got. Oh, let's brake hard. Oh my God, that's gonna make me feel a bit sick, that is. Ugh. Right, okay, so 0 to 60, 5.1 seconds. 0 to 100, 12.1 seconds. Thing is, not many people launch their cars. So, time for a test, which is more realistic. So now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour and I'm gonna count us down from three and then we're both gonna floor the throttle and see what happens. So let's just get up to 50 miles an hour, get nice and level. So that's 50. Three, two, one, go! And goodbye! <laughs> oh my gosh, just leaving him for dead. That's because the Tesla has just one forward gear, so it's always ready to go, while the electric motor delivers maximum pulling power immediately. The Audi may have a special electronic compressor to reduce turbo lag, but its automatic had to kick down, and by the time it had grabbed a lower gear, the race was already over. That's why the next test looks solely at acceleration ferocity. Now, one of the good things about these seven-seater SUVs is that they've got so much performance that if you've got some naughty children in the back, you can give them a bit of a shock just by putting your foot down. And so now I'm gonna test this car's acceleration ferocity with the help of our camera assistant, Lewis. Now, he's in the back. How do you feel back there, Lewis? Yeah, not bad, it's quite nice. Okay, so he's actually sat there with a cup of water that is precariously full. I'm gonna do 30 miles an hour, and we're gonna see what happens when I put my foot down. So, you ready, Lewis? Yeah. Here it goes. Did you get a little bit wet? <laughs> Does it look like you've had a bit of an accident? Now, I'm gonna do the same test with the Audi, but this time, keep it in second gear. Right, so I've let Lewis dry his top. He's in the back of the Q7. So, what's it like back there? Uh, I prefer the Tesla. Okay, right. So, cruising, 30 miles an hour. You got your cup of water? Yeah. 
Right, so we'll just cruise along, just mind your own business for now, and then I'm just gonna suddenly take off. <laughs> What's happened? Have you got a little bit wet? Wasn't that bad, actually. Really? Yeah. Ah. Finally, we come to the braking test. The Tesla weighs 2,450 kilograms, while the Audi 2,330 kilograms. Plus, it benefits from 8,000 pounds worth of carbon ceramic brakes. Now what I'm gonna do is go up to 70 miles an hour. We're both gonna be cruising along. And when we reach that cone up there, we're gonna do a full emergency brake and see which car stops in the shortest distance. So approaching the cones now. No way! Wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> Look at that! What's that? Three metres? Two metres? Three metres? Well, the Tesla broke in the shortest distance. And with that, the Tesla claims another win and a clean sweep in every test. It really is an impressive machine. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel and click on the video windows for more videos.